Hi, welcome to another stage of Microsoft Word. So today we are going to be talking about the advanced formatting in Microsoft Word. Alright, so let's get started. So what do we need to know first in the advanced formatting? What we need to know is about this little icon here, which is the show or hide paragraph. Now, how does that work? So I'm just going to click on it. Now, if you watch, it shows almost at the end of all each lines it shows at the end of each lines of a sentence so now this does not mean that this paragraph icon is actually there it's not there if we're trying to print it now it's not going to come out but it's just there to show that there, there is a paragraph after where it stops there's a paragraph there so just like this this stops here and then there's a paragraph here also there's a paragraph here and that of this there was a paragraph here which starts from here now so that is what this little icon does so now let's say for instance we want to add some text maybe we want to push down this from the video we want to push it down to the next page so if we just keep clicking clicking you see that the paragraph it's there are more paragraphs we just click and click and click okay let's try this okay now we click on it go straight to the next page so now looking at this this actually shows that there are, there are paragraphs here and having paragraph 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 in our document does not really make it look good but because there is there are easier way and better way of doing this now looking at this if i say i should add some other thing under here okay let's say i'm going to now i'm just trying to type anything here. so if we should actually type this here you see that this is a paragraph and there's so many other paragraph there and if you watch it is actually pushing or taking this down so if i should come here now and add more you see it's taking it down so we cannot actually continue like this because there are other easier way of doing this so i'm just going to control z all of this all right so now the paragraph having the paragraph being turned on does not mean uh, maybe you are trying to just turn it on or to just see how many paragraphs you're having but it actually helps you so that you see if your work if you're actually doing it in as a professional or if you're actually good at what you are doing so i'm just going to show you an easier way of doing this now we want to actually take this to the next page what do we need to do we're just going to go to the layouts now this is the bricks so we're just going to come here and click on next page now if you watch there are no paragraphs here there are no paragraphs here now this is where it starts from so you see that with the page break we can actually take it take our writings maybe from where we do not want it to be moved to the next page or something now if you watch this is now a section break which is at the next page so that means this is a section break all right so now looking at this section break this is not just there that when you print it it will come out no immediately i turn this off it goes out so now this is our actual document this is how it looks like this is just like behind the scene okay so all right now what's so good about this section break now going to the break you see we have the page break and also have that of the section page which is the next page now with this section page we can actually work on a particular page that we are on now this is where the section break is now let's say we want to apply the margins okay let's use this All right now this is it here but if you should come here it didn't actually apply here but it did apply here okay let me try it again let me show you all right so now this is it now the section break it actually allows you to work on a, on that particular section which is different from other sections so now if you watch this i actually changed the margin this is a normal margin why this was is the is the narrow margin but if i should come to another page 
okay let me just come here and apply page break all right so if i should come here now and click on this change this now if you watch this is the normal page why this is the section and this is also the normal page so this looking at this section page we can actually change the margin either maybe the margin or the orientation or whatsoever but it does not affect the actual page so that is one difference between the page and the next page which is the page and the section page that is one difference now we also have that of the columns we discussed about this in our previous class also then line numbers this is definitely self explanatory clicking on this okay this actually just numbers the lines we have in our document then we have that of the orientation either landscape or portrait if we want it longer or the width wider whichsoever then we have that of the margins and all of that so this is how far we're going to go for to this class today we've now come to see or come to understand what the hide or show paragraph icon means and also that of the page break all right so we are going to stop here for today so see you guys in our next class and don't forget to hit the subscribe button